How's it going, guys? I'm Nick Doucette from The Score Sports, and I'm standing here next to Bjergsen after the first game of the North American LCS for 2016 spring. Unfortunately, it did result in a loss for you guys to CLG. What do you think happened in that game? Um, CLG had a really good grasp on us early, but we did manage to catch up and get a lead. But we just had multiple times where when we were finally pushing out, there was always some kind of mistake. Either someone got caught, we got initiated on. Uh, CLG played the team fights really well, and they had a clear goal in their comp, and that's why they won. At some points, I think it looked like you said you did have some good mid-game moves, but I looked at some point there was like Sven was a little bit offbeat. There was maybe some communication issues. How do you feel that this team is coming together in terms of a communication structure? Can you walk me through how it's been? Um, it's just everyone is used to talking a lot, so we have to tone it down a little bit because Bora, Yellow Star, he communicates a lot, and he's really good at even communicating from others and knowing what everyone needs. But if everyone is just communicating all the time about everything they feel is important, there's going to be a lot of clutter. And it's important that we're on the same page and talking about the right things. So that's the main thing we're working on. Now, you did mention Yellow Star, who was the most recent addition to this team. Now, he's obviously a veteran for EU. What sort of, uh, sort of leadership has he brought to this team, if he's brought any? Or what does he bring to the table to TSM? Uh, every time we're in scrims or practice, pretty much every time he brings up something in the post-game discussion, he's usually right. He's really, really smart about the game, and he just he just talks a lot. He knows what direction we should take as a team, how we should be playing in game, and it's just nice having this voice that this all-knowing voice that's just he always knows what to do. Now, one of the things that I think was a little bit interesting, especially with the start of the games recently this week, is that. Before, people weren't really thinking that Dragon wouldn't necessarily be a priority, but we are now seeing, especially with the KT started in Korea, I think that Dragon is extremely important, and CLG5 Dragon, you guys. Why do you think that that's sort of come to the fore as like a really important objective now in this meta? Um, well, the games are still fairly slow-paced, especially in Korea. Every time I watch Korean games, it's just Resident Sleeper. But uh, they play the macro game really well, and they play the map. But if you're trying to slowly push your lead, and you don't want to force anything unnecessary, you don't want to take big risks, but you know you're going to win the game slowly, then Dragon is the way to go. This offseason obviously saw a lot of talent coming into North America. A lot of people are very excited to see how some of the teams are going to shape up. Immortals playing right now is one of them, for example. How do you think the competition in North America is going to be uh, this year with all those changes? Uh, it's definitely going to be harder. And personally, for me in mid lane, I feel like it'll be a lot easier for me to learn because we have all these great mid laners coming in, like we have GBM, we have, I'm really bad at thinking of and remembering right now, but there's a ton of good mids right now, and we have veterans coming in like Alex Heach and Froggen, so it'll be a lot easier for me to learn and be just NA as a whole and NA mid laners to be prepared for the international games. Now, obviously you did start off the season on a loss. What are you looking to take away from this particular loss to CLG and you know move forward for not just uh, tomorrow's game, but move forward for the next couple of weeks as well? Um, we're just going to focus on major team decisions, communication, everything regarding the team. Because small issues, small individual mistakes, that stuff may happen, may not happen. But we're not going to improve by just looking at, oh, you got caught here, or this happened. We just need to focus on how we're communicating, what we're picking, how we're playing our team comp. Well, best of luck tomorrow in your match, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us.